I got my weekend outfit on. <laughs> I love this sweatshirt. It says weekend outfit. That's what we're doing today. I just wanted to pop in here and I might piece this with other videos. I don't know. I might do a full video today. We'll see how it goes. But I hit a 30 pound loss today. Ashley, I am down 30.6 pounds today. Whoop whoop. Yes, I wanted to celebrate that 30 with y'all. I'm so excited. And that's during Shark Week. I hit my 30 pound loss. Amazing. Amazing. I'm so excited. You know, I wanted to hit a 40 pound loss by May 1st. Today is April 13th. I mean, if it keeps going like that, I'll hit it. But I probably won't. And that's okay. That's okay. It'll be in May sometime I'll hit that 40 pound. Heading to work. I'm excited. I'm rambling because I'm excited. 30 pounds, 30.6 pound loss today. What, what? Yeah, I am excited and I love keto. Decided to turn this into a full day of eating on my 30 pound loss day. And I do not have my selfie sticker tripod with me. Yeah, looking worse for the wear today at work today, but I don't care. Not really leaving the office. I'm only here for four hours, but we're going to do a full day of eating. I had my coffee in the morning that had 15 grams of XCT oil, 13 grams of coconut oil, a 15, no, it was 16 grams of heavy cream, 30 grams of Tarani's sugar-free salted caramel syrup in there, and one scoop of collagen, which is 10 grams. And let me show you my breakfast. I'm trying to hold it as still as possible. Hopefully this works. Let's get to, not my breakfast, my second meal. Here it is. Okay, the cafeteria here is closed on Sundays now. So I didn't have any eggs meal prep. So I'm having three pieces of Hempler bacon, one stick of Great Value Organic Mild Cheddar Cheese, which is zero carbs. I get it at Walmart, but any cheese for you will do. And two of those Suppressata and Mozzarella Roll-Ups that I get at Safeway. It's right here, my Coronado. They are zero net carbs and four grams of fat. So that's gonna hold me until I get home to have a real meal. I'm keeping my carbs really low. All right, here's my total macros. I'm only at 0.8 net carbs for today. And today, it is, I mean, right now, it is 11.36. I have 58.6 grams of fat, 40 grams of protein, and 677 calories. That's with the Bulletproof Coffee and my second meal I just showed you. So there is my Bulletproof coffee. Be back for what I eat later, and I might even make something for you. Okay, it's three o'clock, I'm getting hungry, and I'm gonna make little pigs in a Snuggie. So base, I saw Keto Ginger make this on her channel. And it's a fat head dough wrapped around Oscar Mayer cheese dogs. I already ripped the label off here. We're going to wrap it around these Oscar Mayer cheese dogs. So it's fat head dough wrapped around them and then baked. I'm going to show you how I make my fat head dough and how we're going to do this. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese shredded in a microwave safe bowl. Okay, because we're going to nuke this. And then you need two ounces of cream cheese, three quarter cup of almond flour, super fine, and then one teaspoon of garlic salt and one teaspoon of baking powder and one egg slightly beaten, which I just did now. So let's get to making the dough. First... I'm gonna take this mozzarella cheese and I'm gonna dump the cream cheese right there on top, okay? And then I'm gonna nuke this for one minute. 
and then I'm gonna stir it and we're gonna do it till it's melted. You don't wanna burn your cheese. So after one minute, I'm gonna do it every 30 seconds till it's nice and liquidy and melted. And then I'll show you what that looks like. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're also gonna need parchment paper. Okay, that was in the microwave for a minute. And you see it's not really good consistency there. It's not liquidy. It's in one big clump when I stir it. That's not enough. So I'm gonna go 30 seconds more. And make sure you use some kind of spatula. I find that works best for fat head dough. I mean, I did it another 30 seconds. You see that? consistency it's pretty good I'm making sure the cream cheese is well mixed into the mozzarella but 30 seconds more and then I think we'll be good we'll be back okay let's see yeah that's good see it's nice and liquidy I mean we have a little string but that's okay and it's very well incorporated i can stir it around see that that's consistency i like so i'm gonna put my almond flour in here and i'm trying to get you in shot almond flour went in there my one teaspoon of bacon powder and one pea teaspoon of no it's one and a half teaspoons of bacon powder and one teaspoon of salt put it right on top of the almond flour because I don't want to burn my bacon powder so I'm gonna kind of get this going a little bit I don't want my egg to cook and this is hot so I like kind of getting this started but I also use the almond flour as a buffer and we're just gonna go quick with this. I pre-beaded my egg just slightly. That way we're not just putting a whole egg in there and that way it gets incorporated. And I'm just gonna pour it in there and go quick here. And work it around. Smashing it into my egg and flour and cheese. I don't want scrambled eggs. Keep working it around. When it gets really sticky, I go and get some water on my hands. I just keep working that around. Pretty good. You wanna make sure it's really well combined. Just keep Pressing it in, folding it around. I'm gonna go back to the spatula. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. I'm kind of kneading it like you would bread dough. If you ever made real bread, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just making sure it has one uniform texture to it. It's still really warm, so be careful feels good. It's satisfying to do this. I love it. See? Dough. Fathead dough right there. Perfect. There's like a papery side and a smooth side to the parchment. We're going to use the smooth side against the dough. And then I'm going to take my fathead dough. We're going to make a rectangle because we're going to cut this in strips. So I'm just trying to get myself started here. I like slapping dough, if you don't notice. <laughs> and I'm going to put the smooth side right on top of it. Okay? Now it's going to move around on you. So anchor your parchment paper with some. I'm going to hit that edge too. We're going to go like that. Just to kind of get me started. And then we're going to roll it out as thin as possible just keep pulling it towards you like that that's what I like to do and then I go see pushing sucks so for that I gotta go like this you want an even thickness all over okay and we'll be back when I got it rolled out now that we did that 
You just rip this top layer right off there. And don't worry about wasting that. I'm gonna put that down and that's what we're gonna cook them on. We're gonna cut it into strips. And I'm gonna go about an inch wide. Got wider over there. Just doesn't have to be perfect. Just run it through, right? Let's make strips. To be perfect. You see this? I got little strips of dough. Oop. Love the Oscar Mayer cheese ball dogs. Might be a little overkill because this is, you know, cheese. But what? Who says there's ever enough cheese? I don't think there ever is. And I'm just kind of going at an angle to roll it. Um, see if that part broke again. That's okay. We're going to roll up. Hold on a minute. Okay, I don't want to make another recipe, but I should have added more almond flour to my dough. And <laughs> I'm thinking it was one ounce of cream cheese and not two ounces. Maybe that's the problem, but it's not pliable, meaning I can't really work with it well. So I'm taking strips in chunks and fitting around my little doggies and putting them in a Snuggie like that. I was going to wrap them and make them look spirally. Nope, I'm not as fancy as Keto Ginger there. Amanda, you got me beat. <laughs> but the last time I made it, it wasn't this brittle. See that? It's just ripping apart. See that? Chunkies. That's okay. This is what we're going to do. I'm just fitting it around my dough, right? Just fitting it on there. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap -y wrap like this just to get the dough on there and then I'll even it out right I'm just gonna kind of mush it mush it on there little pig in a snuggie right <laughs> I'm just mushing it on there gonna be good it's gonna work out you'll see and then I'm gonna roll it around kind of even it out bring it up the dog I don't want thick and thin areas I want it even otherwise one part will burn and the other part won't be done even as I can get just like that see that this little guy needs to stick out more so let me go like this yeah, we're calling that good. They're going to stick out and say hi to us, little pigs in the Snuggie. I keep doing that until I got all these dogs done. I got enough dough for it. All right. See, it worked out. No worries. I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven for about 20, 25 minutes, maybe less. All right, we'll be back when they're done. Oh, I remember what she did. She put it in the fridge for an hour so it's more pliable. So that would have worked and we could have done spirals across the dogs. But, oh well, this is going to work, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, my little piggies are out of the oven. It took exactly 20 minutes and they look fantastic. Let me show you. All right, there's my little piggies. I'm not sad about it. Looks like it turned out great. Nothing's burnt. They're definitely able to pick up. Mm-hmm. I'm going to let these stand and cool for about 10 minutes. And then I'll cut one open for you. These are going to be good. And that got some of my meal prep done for the week, didn't it? Okay, I'm going to make me and my husband a salad. It's going to be really basic. I'm, I'm not that hungry. For me, I'm going to take about a cup of spinach. And I know that's about a cup of spinach, okay? I'm not measuring it. I'm going to track a cup of spinach. Minimal carbs there, all right? And I'm going to take some bacon crumbles. And I'm going to put two tablespoons on mine. Okay. Spread that on there. Ooh, I forgot the blue cheese. I'll go get that in a sack. 
And then I got some meal prepped chopped green onion. I'm gonna go ahead and put two tablespoons of that on top. This is how I do my salads. I just kind of measure it out by two tablespoons, <laughs> right? A little green onion will hurt you. Green onion is the lowest carb onion you can get. I hear. And then I got some meal prepped cucumbers. Whoops, it was pouring water. I saw, uh, peeled it, sliced it, stuck it in water so they don't go bad. You wanna replace the water every once in a while too. And I'm just gonna put five slices on my salad. I have that blue cheese I got in my Costco haul that I posted a while ago. Doesn't go bad for a while. So I'm gonna take two tablespoons of that. It's crumbled. I'm just kind of putting it in the, this is a two tablespoon measure, just in case you're wondering, not one. And I just sprinkle that on top. And the last thing I like to put in my salad, it's very keto salad, is pumpkin seeds. These are roasted salted pumpkin seeds that I meal prepped. I take the bag and I weigh out 30 grams in each container. So that is 30 grams of pumpkin seeds on there. That way it's easy to track. It gives it that crunch, right? Ooh, I forgot I bought that croutons in my Safeway haul. I would have done that instead. I think I have room on my macros. Let's be a little extra. Let me go get those. Okay, these I have never added to my salad, but I'm going to do it now. I think I'm going to go with Asiago since I have the blue cheese in there. Yeah, sounds good. So, one serving is 10 crisps, 5 grams. So, I'm just going to put 10 in here. One, two, four. For manager app, I put... Uh, one as a serving so it's 2.4 for each so it'd be 4.8 for two but when i put two it said 4.9 so count two 4.9 who's gonna eat one but if you're just a little hungry maybe you will so let's take a knife i'm gonna cut one of these open for you right here what one can you see this one so look at that that's like bread it's awesome so whatever it did was great. <laughs> It'll work. It would just not workable dough. If I would have refrigerated, it would have been good. You see that? That's yum. It's like eating a corn dog or one of the, the Snuggies, little pigs in a blanket. I used to love those as a kid with the crescent dough around it. That's what it is. So I'm going to have that one plus one more plus that salad with ranch, two tablespoons of Hidden Valley Ranch on top. I have to go grab it, so I won't show it to you. And that's my dinner. So I'll show you my macros later after I eat. All right, that's what I had to eat today. I think that's gonna be it. I am extremely full. And I'm right at 9.2 carbs for the day, so it's a little higher carb than I've been eating the last two car two days. but or really three days, but you know, I stay under 15 really, but I like to hit at least, you know, I like to aim for 10 or lower. Let's put it that way, but I'm okay if I go over to 15. Depends on the day, depends on how hungry I am. Those little pigs in the Snuggie, pigs in the Snuggie, so good, so good. Let's get to my macros for the day. Selfie stick here so you can see my macros. I ate 9.2 net carbs today, 15.2 total carbs, so I stayed under 20. That's good. And 6.0 gram, uh, grams of fiber and 135.1 grams of fat out of 119. So over on the fat, under on the protein as usual, so 83.9 grams of pro protein out of 90 
five. And I ate 1,594 calories out of 1,527. So I went up on these two. Okay with that, I've been a lot under all week, so I got room for that. You know what I mean? I don't think it's going to affect me in any way. 76.5 grams of fat, 21.1% protein, and if I can get there, 2.3% carbs. Keto! Primary calories are coming from fat, and that is keto. You can eat on keto, and you can eat good foods, and it doesn't have to be expensive. What I ate today is not that expensive. Doable, right? Definitely doable. Yeah, high on the fats, a little high on the calories. I'm not going to fret about it. No, I think I'm doing pretty good at a 77-21-2 ratio of what I ate. All right, I hope you got some use out of my video. A little fails, a little wins. And I showed you how to make pigs in the Snuggie and Fathead dough at once. We'll see you Tuesday. Oh, like, subscribe, share my videos, comment below. What is your favorite comfort keto meal and where can I get it? <laughs>